Hey guys, so you know I did a video the other day because I got a lot of clients in the California area. A lot of them have been in, impacted by this recent fire or past fires in the, in the recent past. Um, one guy that some of my clients have been telling me I needed to talk to is Honor Top Q here with Ustucco. Uh, Ustucco is a highly fire resistant stucco finish, parge coat, the whole works. I'm not versed well enough to talk as smooth as I do about most things, so I'm going to let Honor talk about it. But all you guys saying the foam melts off of ICF if the flames come to it, it's, it's really not true and I'm going to show that in some real hillbilly videos soon, but Honor is going to talk to you right now about all the scientific side of this really cool product. We're probably going to start carrying it in our warehouse for a lot of our build kits. So, Honor? So, I mean, we can start talking over the sample. So this is our product. It's white compared to traditional stucco. It comes in gray color, but yeah. just When you can color in, it, it just comes in a white base. It comes in a white base. If you want to tint it, you can tint the product sure. while you're mixing with water. If you want to paint it, it can. it's also paintable. So what makes this product different than uh, the regular stucco solutions? Sure. Is the fact that it can adhere to EPS, or in other words, ICF the directly. The protests are like, it's really strong. You can't it's, pull yeah. it off. So, yeah. I mean, we can demonstrate and uh, like, the bonding is just out of this super world. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Super great, super, yeah, super, super good. And uh, so you can go all the way up to one inch thick in a single pass. Yeah, the, the build, it's really lightweight, guys, and it builds out really fast. And it's, yeah. that's where it was really impressive. So you can go all the way up to one inch thick in a single pass, and, and the product can be sprayed applied or travel applied by pretty much any stucco contractor. There is no special training needed. No special, no, no no special tools needed. Okay. Um, and on top of that, because this product is super light, uh -huh. it doesn't put a lot of dead load on the structure. And, uh, and it has some very unique insulation properties. Okay. And so we can start with fire. Yeah, the fire is what people are gonna be super interested in right now, but also the water resistant and everything yeah. else, but fire first. So it is a, it's the most fire resistant stucco solution in the industry right now. It can resist all the way up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit for more than two, three, four hours, depending 5, on 5,000 degrees. None of those wildfires were burning anywhere close to that. They were no. 1,200 degrees, yeah. you know, maybe 2,000 if the wind was blowing just right, but nowhere near 5,000. Exactly. And what makes it unique, one other feature is, let's say, uh, if we expose the surface to fire for, let's say, two hours. Yeah, you can see some of these pictures yeah. back here where they actually have a blowtorch just pouring on it yeah. for hours and hours straight. And what happens is, like, the temperature can go all the way up to multiple thousand, like three, four thousand degrees Fahrenheit. The moment we cut the fire source, the temperature drops from that three, four thousand degrees Fahrenheit to one thousand in about ten seconds. So it cools so down really, really fast. It, yeah. So it's, if you it's come back to the wall, like nothing. Yeah. right? So yeah. If you come back to your wall 10, 15 minutes later, you will be able to touch the surface. Right. Um, other than that, um, it doesn't spread the flame on the surface. It doesn't develop any smoke. It's a VOC-free product and you can use it also on the inside of the structure as well as on the outside. Uh, the water resistance is another cool feature of the product. So it is uh, water resistant and it, permeable. It's permeable, guys. He's got this neat thing here, but it's also hydrophobic. It can have a crack in it and it'll have water standing on it. He'll open the crack up like a 16th of an inch and the water still doesn't penetrate. But so this is a good- uh, Dry underneath. Yeah. No water seeping through. This has been sitting here all week at the show. No water has seeped through or even soaked into the plaster yet it is air permeable when he puts an air pump on the air passes right through it so it breathes so air it's it's like molecularly air molecules can fit through but water molecules can't it's just engineered just perfectly to be where it can breathe so if there is water trapped back into your wall if you with icf it's not something we worry about if you had a wood wall with the stuff on there the water the moisture can get out sorry the moisture the air can let the air can come in and dry it out sorry i was like i was saying that wrong yeah. <laughs> um what else? Um, so it's a mineral-based product. At the, I mean, it's a Portland cement-based product. Portland cement-based. But instead of using sand, we use lightweight minerals and aggregates. So it's a very, very green product. Yeah. And there is also no food for the fungal cultures. So a mold, there's, mildew there's cannot no, There's penetrate. no nutrition for exactly. biologics. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Other than that, it has good acoustic properties. So if you go, yep. if you go anywhere between three quarters to one inch thick, yep. you can absorb up to 42 decibels of sound with the same product. Wow. Okay. Um, so I mean, this. I was so I was so enthused about the fire. I didn't even talk to you about the sound, but yeah, makes sense. Um, but yeah, guys, it's it's a super killer product. I had actually a client that we're helping get started in Orange County had already been telling me about it for months, but I didn't pay attention to it last year at World of Concrete because I was wore out. This year we came over here and I'm like, 
because another thing, guys, that you're not thinking about, and we'll get into this in videos, is everybody's like, oh, the foam will melt off. Well, assuming this is blocking the heat from getting there to melt it, which it is, it's also there's no air. That's the good thing about ICF and foam built houses. There's no stud space, there's no air. Another thing crazy in California that I didn't know, because I haven't built an unsealed, a vented attic. I haven't done that in 10 years in Missouri. We get cold, sealed, insulated, conditioned attic spaces are better. Um, California still has codes that prohibit it. He had to fight. My guy in uh, Orange County had to argue with them and show them modern building methods to get them to approve sealing the attic. But you told me a lot of guys will stucco the soffits too to keep sure. any, because the embers, guys, we've got a new system we're coming out with that's gonna uh, use our already existing automated pool stuff to pump your pool water up to sprinklers all over your house to keep it wet. But if the embers are in your attic, it's gonna be blazing before it ever that water can ever get to it. There's no reason an attic should be vented and letting embers in. Yeah. With this product, water pro watertight, airtight structure. Hmm? So in terms of crack resistance, uh, so you have to understand why a stucco would crack. So it's usually, you know, earthquakes could be a reason. Structure movements is another reason. Expansion contraction of different products is one reason. Free stall is another reason. Uh -huh. So when you look at used stucco, it has an amazing performance because it has a very low thermal conductivity against so it's cold not climates. Gonna, yeah, it's not going to move yeah. around as much because of the thermal sure, inputs. Sure, sure. And it's extremely fiber reinforced, the product itself. I wish I could see it on the camera. I show it in the camera, but maybe you can share some I'll, photos yeah, later I'll, on. I'll, I'll, I'll paste in some. So you can see the close-up fibers in the product. Yeah. So it's a highly, highly crack resistant product. But of course, if a 30 ton home is going to tilt, move, there is no stock in the world mm -hmm. to keep that structure sure. together. What needs to be known is it's super easy to fix. So if you have any it feathers damage. In. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. You can even use the product to uh, retrofit an existing house or, or repair any conventional stucco problems. Um, yeah, so that's, so that's actually another reason the ICF for this to apply, you can apply it directly to the foam of the ICF and ICF is not gonna move like a plywood house. You know, the plywood house is gonna move more and instigate cracks more in any stucco, which is why this is like a perfect marriage and for what we, we already do. ICF products because you as it. you said, it's yep. rigid. It's yes. rigid. It's so. rigid, it doesn't move at all. Yeah. And so yeah, guys, we're gonna be bringing you more content with Honor and one of his reps that was here, I didn't even know him because I've only talked to him in Zoom and without pictures. He knew me from YouTube. We're actually doing a job together in Oakland, California that we've been talking about with engineers for like two years. We're building a pool together. Here in the next couple of months, I'm gonna be in Oakland with that guy and he's like, yeah, it's Jeff, blah, blah, blah. So this, this whole place is a giant small world uh, thing. It's been a great show. The fire thing's a tragedy, but we're gonna make sure it never happens again. There's um, no reason. Maybe later on you can also share the, the wildfire test we did with Edison last year. Yes, they got a really amazing wildfire test with uh, Edison Electric and it's, guys, it's, these, these answers are not hard. And this is not an expensive product. This is not like, oh, this is gonna be triple regular stucco. It's on par. It is, there's no reason to use traditional stucco. And I'm comfortable to share the numbers. Like, okay, yeah, go for it. You're looking at approximately. <laughs> I normally don't do that. <laughs> you're looking at approximately $1.50 to $2 per square foot at half inch thickness. So depend, material cost. Material cost. Yes. Material cost. So you're getting your stuccos in, installed in that six to nine dollar foot range, and you're completely fireproofing the outside of your house. Um, no brainer, guys. I mean, you can't brick and stone for that in my neck of the woods. So. And if there are any ICF manufacturers in your audience, they yep. also need to know that uh, by using you stucco over the the ICF panel or the let's say EPS board, mm -hmm. they can actually meet the requirements for the NFPA 285. So we explain help. that a minute. The NFP 285, because you yeah. said the insurance is dropping down. Absolutely, in, absolutely. Yeah, because you know we talk about ICF should get a discount in insurance. If you do the NF 285 standard of fireproof yeah. fire rating, your insurance will drop in fire prone areas or the places that you're not able to get insurance. You may get it because of that rating. Exactly. So by simply using three quarters inch thick of our product over EPS sport. Uh, the product, the EPS, can pass the NFPA 285 standards. So, of course, it will reduce your insurance cost, but it will also, you will most likely don't get killed, you know. In yeah, the yeah, yeah, you won't die, so yeah. <laughs> win. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to bring you so much content on that, especially as we're out there doing that element build in uh, Orange County. I'm going to go see a couple guys I met who actually lost their house in the Palisades fire. The son is a GC in LA, and I'm going to be able to hook a lot of you guys up with him as you're able to start rebuilding, because he is all in on building ICF stucco products that are not gonna burn again. And we're gonna automate them to where your pool's gonna dump 
We're going to do all the things that weren't there in last time. So if the city can't figure out the reservoirs, we'll figure it out for you. You have your own reservoir in your backyard. You build one of our pools. Guys, I'll see you next time.